So hello and welcome to this uh, Adobe Anime tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how you can create a stopwatch uh, with the JavaScript. So basically I am going to have a simple button and if I am going to click on this button uh, we are going to start uh, counting and I said this that uh, after 10 seconds uh, this is going to stop and we are going to have some text uh, for example game over. So you could use uh, something like this uh, for some games or uh, anything. Uh, a few things that I want to show you, I will go very quickly to Adobe Animate, but don't worry, uh, I will explain everything, but I just want to uh, show you that if I want, uh, I can have uh, decimal numbers, and uh, if I want, let me put it like so, and if I want, I can stop this after uh, maybe 100 seconds or whatever, uh, so we can have decimal numbers, uh, we can have one decimal number, we can have two decimal numbers or none, and uh, yeah. And uh, one thing uh, is that uh, this stopwatch is like uh, not perfect because we are not going to convert this uh, when we are going to hit 60. We are not going to convert this to be one minute and uh, zero seconds and count like this, that. But basically this uh, stopwatch is going to be counting like uh, 61, 62 and so on. So there is a possibility to convert this uh, later on uh, to be like uh, two minutes and something or whatever. Uh, but uh, we are going to have this uh, like so so we are going to counting like 100 200 and so on but yeah this is at least something and the last thing that i want to say before we are going to start is that i am not a professional with the javascript yet uh, i am learning a lot and i am learning in adobe animate and also like uh, with html and css and uh, i am going to create this kind of tutorials but there might be a better ways uh, to do this uh, so yeah okay but yeah right now we can start all right, so right now I am in the Adobe Animate and I am going to choose uh, any width and height. So for example, I can go with uh, 500 by 500, but you can choose anything. I want this to be HTML5 canvas because we are going to write JavaScript and our frame rate is fine as it is. And I'm just going to click uh, create. Uh, now, before I'm going to create any graphics, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start with the code. So I will go to the layer one. I can double click to rename this to be code. And uh, I am going to go to the first uh, frame and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose uh, actions. Uh, this is going to open me a text editor like so. Uh, maybe you are going to have this a uh, little bit like so or you are going to have this a little bit uh, smaller so you can adjust this if you want. And I am going to uh, go with the control or command and mouse wheel to make this uh, bigger so you can see this a little bit better. So at the beginning what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to declare two variables. So I'm going to type let and I'm going to type uh, start uh, time. And I'm going to type uh, let and I'm going to type uh, current uh, time like so. So for now, I am not going to put any value. I am just going to declare them like uh, like so. Uh, now what I can do is uh, I can uh, copy this uh, start time. So I'm going to go with control C and control V. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this equal to uh, new uh, date. This is going to get me like a uh, uh, current date and then uh, parentheses and uh, then a dot. And I'm going to type uh, get uh, time and uh, parentheses like so. So, yeah, uh, we are going to have uh, something like this. So we are going to get time of the current uh, day, basically. And uh, what I can do is uh, right now I can type uh, console.log and we are going to console.log uh, start time. This is going to give me some uh, kind of weird numbers. As I told you at the beginning, I am not professional, so I do not know everything, uh, but, uh, but yeah. So right now I am going to uh, open this like so. We are, going to, we are not going to have anything, but I'm going to click F12 or I'm going to right click and choose inspect. And I am going to have some kind of number in here. If I am going to refresh this, you can check the last uh, two numbers. This is going to be 57. If I am going to refresh this, I am going to have a different number and, uh, and so on. So, so yeah. Uh, now, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to create our, uh, our button. Uh, so I am going to create a new uh, layer and I am going to put this layer down. And uh, the code layer, I am actually going to log. 
when I'm going to lock this, uh, it will still allow me to go inside, but uh, it's not going to allow me to uh, create any graphics on this layer. So I prefer to lock this and I will go to this layer number two and I am going to create a very simple button. So I'm going to get a rectangle tool. I'm going to get uh, some maybe orange uh, color. I will get rid of the stroke and uh, in the rectangle options, I'm just going to put 12, uh, 20 that really doesn't matter. This is just going to make uh, rounded corners like so. So I'm going to do something uh, like this and I am not going to align this, you can if you want. And now I am going to get the text and I want this uh, to be static text and I am going to choose the white color, the font I can go with Arial, that really doesn't matter right now. And I am just going to type in here uh, start like uh, so and I am going to put it like this. So uh, as I said, I am not going to play with the align, you can, but uh, I am going to leave it as it is and I am going to select this like so and I will go to the modify convert to symbol or F8 and I can call this to be BTN uh, start for example. Uh, this name is not for the JavaScript, this name is uh, just for the library, but I am going to copy this because I am going to put this also as a name for the for the JavaScript. Uh, we can make this movie clip or we can make this uh, button. I am going to keep this movie clip uh, that really doesn't matter right now and I'm just going to click OK. Uh, so right now, if I would go to the library, I'm going to have this BTN start, but what is important is uh, this uh, instance name and uh, this is the name uh, which we are going to be uh, targeting this with the JavaScript and I'm going to put the same name BTN start, but uh, yeah, this name has nothing to do with the library name. Uh, now I will go back to the code. So I am just going to click F9 or you can right click uh, and uh, go with actions and I am going to type that uh, this which refers like to the to the like main timeline right now uh, then btn start and I am going to type uh, on we are going to be on uh, on uh, click and we are going to uh, call the function which can be maybe uh, start uh, count for example or what, uh, whatever and uh, yeah, uh, later on, I am going to add a little uh, additional code in here, but uh, that's uh, for the later. So yeah, so now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create the function. So I'm going to type function uh, start uh, count. I'm going to copy this because I do not want to misspell that like so. Uh, then the parentheses, uh, curvy parentheses and uh, yeah. Uh, so right now uh, I am just going to cut this code where we have this uh, start time uh, set to new date and get time and this console.log. So I am just going to cut this and I'm going to paste it uh, to my to my function like uh, so. Uh, so right now all we all we did is that uh, uh, at the beginning uh, we are not going to have anything and if I'm going to click on this uh, start uh, then we are going to get this uh, this uh, number like so. Okay fine. Uh, now what I want to do uh, is uh, uh, I can go ahead and uh, type in here uh, uh, on the, on the, this BTN start on, I can go ahead and type uh, dot, uh, bind, uh, this like, so, uh, later on, I am going to get rid of this anyway for some reason, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, this bind this basically allow me to write the keyword, uh, this as we have in here inside of the functions uh, without uh, this bind this I wouldn't be able to write this uh, in the function I am not going to need this for this function but uh, but uh, yeah I will <laughs> a little bit uh, now what I'm going to do and uh, actually I, I am going to use this right now. Uh, I am going to in the start count uh, function, uh, create one more even listener. So I'm going to type uh, this. I'm going to go with on later on. I will change this, <laughs> but you will see. So I will go this uh, on. Uh, we want to be this on uh, tick and uh, tick basically is going to uh, check uh, every frame uh, my my timeline. Uh, so uh, this on uh, tick and we are going to uh, call the function which is going to be current uh, count like so and I can go uh, one more time dot uh, bind uh, bind this like uh, like so. 
Uh, right now, there is one thing and uh, you need to make sure that uh, you are going to have the parentheses uh, like uh, so and uh, like so. Right now, I am going to miss the, the parentheses like, like this, so I'm going to put it like this. Okay, so now I'm going to create the function and later on, I will try to explain this a little bit better. Right now, I am just going to write this. So I will type a uh, function uh, like so, and I'm going to type uh, current, ta uh, current count and one more time, parentheses, uh, curvy parentheses, and uh, and the And in this function, what we are going to do uh, is uh, we are going to declare uh, the current time and we are going to do it the same way as the start time. So if you want, you can just copy this and paste this, but uh, for the practice, I can uh, write this. So I'm going to type uh, current time is going to be equal to new uh, date, uh, be careful, there needs to be a space, so you do not want to write new dot date, basically new date, uh, parentheses and dot get uh, time with the capital T, like, uh, like so, okay. And uh, now I'm going to show you uh, what uh, this uh, tick does. So I'm going to get rid of this uh, console.log uh, for the start time, and I'm going to put in uh, console.log. So I'm going to type console.log in here and I'm going to console.log uh, current time. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this. And uh, right now, if I'm going to uh, click on this BT and start, it is going to set me the start time. Uh, it is going to set me this only once on the click and then it is going to call this function uh, or it is going to put this even listener to call the function current count and in the current uh, count we are going to set uh, one more time this new date get time and then we are going to console.log it. So if I go right now with the control enter and I will go with F12 and I, if I'm going to click start, we are going to have it like so. We are going to have this on a tick and it is going to be creating this kind of uh, numbers. Okay, fine. Uh, right now you may be like, uh, how are we going to convert these numbers uh, to something which is like time? Uh, you, will, you will see. Uh, so now, uh, in here, uh, I can uh, get rid of this console.log. For now, I am just going to comment this out. So right now, this is not going to be uh, this is going to be ignored by JavaScript. And I am going to declare a variable let uh, time. I can declare it in here like so. But if you declare the variable in the function, uh, you are going to be able to access the variable only in the function, in this function. So I am going to uh, cut this and I'm going to declare the variable uh, in here like so. So I'm just going to type let time and I am going to set that uh, uh, the time is going to be equal and it is going to be equal uh, current time minus uh, start time. So I am going to copy this uh, start time like so and uh, and the yeah. so this uh, start time this is going to set the value only once when we click and this uh, current time is going to be updating the the value uh, 24 frames per second uh, okay so right now i am going to uh, console.log this uh, time and right now you will see that we are going to we are getting somewhere so we are going to just uh, uh, go with this uh, current time which is like this uh, long number and we are going to go minus with uh, start time which is also this like long number and we are going to put it to the variable time and right now we are going to console.log time so i will go with control enter command enter uh, f12 and i'm going to click start and right now you can see that we have something like uh, you can see the first number uh, is like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we are slowly getting our seconds. But right now this is going this is like thousand something. So what I'm going to do right now with this uh, time is uh, I am going to divide this uh, by thousand. So I am going to uh, put this uh, current time minus start time uh, to the parentheses like so to be able to divide this. 
and the semicolon. Uh, by the way, semicolons are optional in the JavaScript. You do not need to use them, but you can, but you probably know. Uh, but I am going to put this to the parentheses. So right now I am going to be able to divide this by thousand. So I am going to go like uh, this. And right now, if I go with control enter F12 and I'm going to click start, uh, right now we are going to have our seconds. So we are going to have three, four, uh, five, six, and so on. Uh, we are going to have these decimal numbers. We can get rid of them. Uh, I will, I will show you. So uh, right now I will just maybe try to explain this little bit. We have three variables, start time, current time, and uh, time. We have even listener for the for the button because we want this to start when we click on the button and we are uh, calling the function start count. Uh, in here we are setting uh, the value for the start time and it is going to set the value only once and we are calling uh, calling other function which is on tick. So this is going to be uh, ticking uh, like multiple times per second. And in here we are uh, setting the current time uh, the same way, way as the start time. And then we are putting uh, the time uh, variable and current time is going to be more than the start time uh, because uh, because uh, yeah, hopefully makes sense. If not, I'll try to think about it. So we do not want to go start time minus current time. We want to go current time minus start time. This is going to give us some number and we are going to divide this by thousand. And uh, yeah, uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, I would like, I would like to get rid of the decimal numbers. So I am going to type uh, on the time uh, variable. I'm going to type math. Uh, but uh, with capital M math dot uh, floor like so and I'm going to put all of this uh, to the to the parentheses like so so math dot floor basically it's going to get rid of the decimal numbers so if I'm going to nine point anything it is going to make it nine okay uh, so right now with this math dot floor and uh, we want to have all of this uh, current time uh, minus start time divide this by thousand. We want to have all of this inside of the math.floor. Uh, right now, if I go with control enter uh, and I'm going to click, we are going to have just one, two, three, four, and so on. So uh, yeah, if you would like to uh, keep the decimals, uh, but you do not want to have like three decimals. You only want to have uh, two decimals or one decimal. What we can do is uh, I am going to get rid of this math.floor uh, like uh, like so. Uh, but I will have to anyway put it to the, to the parentheses. So I am going to go like this and I am going to put this one to the end like so. And I am going to type uh, dot uh, to fixed like so. And if I'm going to put in here number two, uh, it is going to make me this uh, on the two decimals. If I'm going to go with one, it is going to make me this one decimal and so on. So I'm going to go to fix with uh, number two. So I will go with control enter F12 and I am going to have this on the two decimals. And uh, yeah, if I'm going to put this on the one, I am going to have only one decimal like so. OK, and I could also make this uh, to be to be zero. And right now I am not going to uh, have any any decimals like so. But uh, yeah, I prefer to uh, uh, I prefer to get rid of this uh, like uh, so and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type uh, one more time uh, math uh, dot uh, floor like this. La just let me make sure that I have my parentheses correctly and I don't. <laughs> so yeah, let me go back. So math dot floor like so. Okay, it should be like uh, like this. Control enter F12 and uh, OK, fine. Uh, now we are going to display this uh, uh, on the in here. So I am going to get a text tool and right now I am going to change the static text to the dynamic text. Uh, there are sometimes 
like little issues with the dynamic text because it can be a little bit offset so it's going to be a little bit higher than uh, where you draw this uh, i am going to create a tutorials about the dynamic text but for now uh, i am not going to be bothered about it and you can see right now that i am on the code layer and it doesn't allow me to write anything in there that's why i log this so i will go to the layer number two i could rename this but i'm not and i am going to uh, type in here uh, some uh, like this and i'm going to just type in here zero for example like so and i am going to put it maybe like this okay and uh, yeah uh, i'm going to change the color so i'm going to click on this and i'm going to make this orange and i am going to make this bigger it doesn't allow me to go more like this so i'm going to manually type like 120 or whatever and uh, yeah uh, right now you could make this uh, align to the left align to the right uh, when we are going to add the numbers uh, it is going to be aligned based on what you are going to click but that really doesn't matter right now <laughs> so yeah and uh, this dynamic text is uh, automatically going to put me an option uh, to put an instance name so i am going to call this to be uh, time uh, text for example or whatever so yeah and i'm going to copy this Control c and i will go to my code so f9 and at the beginning what i can do is i can type that this uh time uh, text and i'm going to type uh, text this is like the property of the time text and i can type for example uh 24 or whatever Control enter and we are going to have this right now uh, to be uh 2024 but yeah i am going to I am going to put this to be zero, control enter, and right now this is going to be zero. And all I am going to do is uh, I am going to copy this. I do not need to set this uh, at the beginning because we have this as a zero, but uh, this doesn't do any damage, so I can keep this. Uh, and I am going to uh, put it to my current count and I am going to, uh, I can get rid of this console.log, but I do not need to, need to, but I am going to paste this, this uh, time text, the text is going to be equal to our time, so I am going to uh, put it like so, and uh, yeah, control enter, command enter, and uh, yeah, I'm going to click on the start, and this is what we are going to have, okay. Uh, if you, uh, I can, uh, I can do this. <laughs> uh, I can get rid of the math dot uh, floor if I want, and I can change this to be to fixed, and I can put this uh, to number one, for example. Control Enter, Command Enter, uh, and right now we are going to have the decimals numbers uh, also like uh, like this. Okay, but yeah, I'm going to put this to the zero and I'm not going to put it back to the math.floor uh, and yeah. Uh, right now, imagine uh, that uh, you would like to do something after uh, some time. So we could make this after one minute, like after 60 seconds, but I do not want to wait this much, so I am going to make it after 10 seconds. So I'm going to type if, if time is going to be uh, bigger or equal, we could go with uh, only equal, but uh, yeah, uh, if this stick is like not going to get it or whatever, I prefer to put it uh, bigger or uh, equal to 10. Then uh, for now, I am just going to go with console.log. So I'm going to type console.log and I am going to type, for example, game uh, over or whatever <laughs> and uh, yeah so i'm going to go with Control enter command enter f12 and i'm going to click start and uh, we are going to wait until we are going to have 10 seconds and then we are going to have the game over but uh, yeah in here we have game over and it is going to be console logging this every time but this timer is going to is going to continue okay so what could we do if we would like to like uh, when we hit the 10 seconds to keep this on the 10 seconds and like don't do anything anymore uh, so i will go back to my code and i will have to uh, change few things the thing is that i would like to uh, remove uh, this uh, but uh, but there are few issues first of all i am going to change this uh, from this on I am going to change this to this add the event listener. 
this is going to do the same thing as uh, when we have on but uh, when we have add even listener we can call the function which is going to be uh, remove uh, even listener and i don't know how to do it when you have this uh, on on so uh, this off is probably not going to be working uh, so yeah and also the thing is that I am not really sure maybe there is a way but if I want to remove even listener and there is going to be this bind this it doesn't allow me to remove that so I am going to uh, get rid of bind this on the, this function and I am going to uh, get rid of that on this function now we are going to have a little issue because we have the keyword this inside of the start count function and we have also this uh, inside of uh, this function so what i'm going to do you probably seen this in some tutorials if not i don't know but i'm going to type uh, let and for example uh, root is going to be equal to this and uh, right now i can use uh, the the root instead of this but this root right now i am going to be able to write inside of the function uh, like this even if i don't have this bind this hopefully this makes sense if not i'm sorry i make i may create some tutorials about this but uh, but yeah uh, but uh, yeah so right now i am going to type instead of uh, this i am going to type root but uh, this variable you can uh, call it as you as you want and i could also type in here uh, root if i want but uh, yeah outside of the functions uh, i am going to be allowed to write this inside of the function i am not going to be able to write this i will have to write uh, root like so and uh, i can use dot bind this to be able to write this inside of the functions but if I have dot bind this, I am not able to remove even listeners for some reasons. Maybe you know this better, but yeah. So right now, all I am going to do is uh, I am going to uh, copy this uh, root add even listener tick uh, current count, and I am going to go in here. And when I am going to have time uh, is uh, bigger or equal to 10, uh, we are going to console.log game over, and we are going to type root. Uh, dot remove remove even listener tick current count so yeah and as i said if i would have if i will have this uh, with uh, bind this uh, in here and i'm going to go bind this in here uh, for some reason this is not going to be working i will show you but uh, yeah so I'm going to go with control enter, command enter. I'm going to go with F12 and I'm going to click start. And uh, yeah, we will have to wait until the 10 seconds. Uh, but uh, this should stop and we are going to have uh, game over and we are going to have this only once and we are not going to have anything. If I would, I just want to show you. So you are going to believe me. I'm going to type in here dot uh, bind uh, this like so and I will have to make sure that I have this uh, parenthesis uh, correctly like uh, like so and I'm going to type the same thing in here so current time current count dot bind uh, this like so and one more time I will have to make sure that I have the parenthesis correctly so right now I am doing the same thing I am removing even listener uh, but right now I have this bind this and I will go with control enter f12 and I am going to go with uh, start and uh, if the miracle is not going to happen uh, because I tried this many times this is not going to stop and this is going to continue okay fine so if anyone know uh, how or, or why this is behaving like so uh, you can write me that in the comment this is something that i am going to probably figure out later on because i am still learning but for now we are going to have this uh, like uh, so and uh, yeah i can uh, put this little bit higher like so and if i want i can uh, go ahead and create some kind of text which is going to be game over so i'm going to keep this to be dynamic text and i'm going to go with maybe gray color and i'm going to uh, make this uh, smaller like so let me go one more time uh, so i'm going to put the size like this and i'm going to type uh, game over like so and i am going to put it like uh, like so and uh, yeah i can put it uh, 
like uh, this and uh, as i said uh, for now i don't have like uh, some good tutorial about the dynamic text so i can uh, i can create one and maybe i can put that in the description one once that made but yeah i'm going to uh, call this to be game uh, over for example like so I'm going to copy this control C and I will go to my uh, to my code and at the beginning I'm going to type that this dot game uh, over uh, like so uh, visible is going to be equal to false okay and I'm going to uh, copy this and I will go uh, in uh, here and in here I'm going to type this game over but I will have to change this to root because we are in the function we are in the if state but the if state is inside of the function and I'm going to change this uh, to be uh, to be true like so and I will go with control enter and uh, yeah so I'm going to click and uh, right now after 10 seconds this should uh, stop and we are going to have console.log game over and we are also going to have the text game over like uh, like so so yeah this is it this is uh, this is all in this tutorial i am not going to uh, show you uh, all of the publish uh, settings i have some tutorials about it i can put them in the description uh, but uh, but yeah or i can create like some specific tutorial about publishing this javascript uh, things but uh, but yeah so hopefully you are going to be able to use this in uh, some kind of your game or anything i am going to prepare more tutorials about javascript in adobe animate but i am still learning so there are there may be few things that i do not like do correctly or i don't know but uh, yeah so this is it this is all hopefully you have learned something and uh, yeah goodbye thank you